John Lennon later said that he liked getting married in Gibraltar because it was quiet, friendly and British, and that they loved getting married there in the symbolic sense that the rock was the foundation of their relationship. What's up everyone, my name is Overstein and this YouTube channel is dedicated to my favorite band, The Beatles. So if you like The Beatles, please make sure you subscribe and you check out my other videos because you're definitely going to find them interesting. So you probably know where I am because it's in the title of this video. I'm in Gibraltar and I'm looking for the place where John Lennon and Yoko Ono got married. So I think we'll be there pretty soon. I mean, it will be pretty soon for you because even if it's not, I'm gonna edit it to make it look like it was. I think we are almost there, actually. The place we're looking for is now the courthouse of Gibraltar. Usually the weather here is a lot nicer. Um, I was in the Mediterranean last week. I was in Italy and Spain, and the weather was beautiful. I don't know what's going on now. So right behind me, right there, you can see the rock of Gibraltar. After getting married, they went to the rock and they took a few pictures. However, we're not gonna start the video right here because in order for me to tell you the story properly, I need to take you back to England first, more specifically to Southampton. So let's go. So we are now in Southampton, one of the major ports in England. And the reason why we're here is because John and Yoko came here initially to see if they could get married at sea. Their plan was to get married on a boat crossing the English Channel, but Yoko couldn't get a visa for that day, so they started looking for other options, and eventually they ended up getting married in Gibraltar. More on that later. Now let's go back to Gibraltar. Right, so we are back here in Gibraltar, and we're still looking for the place where John Lennon and Yoko Ono got married. I mean, it could be there, that looks like the right place, but it's not, so let's keep going. Okay, so come with me and I'll show you exactly where John and Yoko got married here in Gibraltar. Beautiful place. I don't know why I'm so excited, but yeah, I love anything that's related to the Beatles and that's, you know, what I do here on my YouTube channel, so of course I'm excited. So I just met someone who works here and she told me that's exactly where they got married. I'll, I'll take you there. I've been pretty much everywhere in England with even the smallest connection to the Beatles, like everywhere in Liverpool or London. But now I get the chance to travel the world because I work as a cruise ship musician. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys Beatles locations all over the world, really. So right now we're in Gibraltar. I'm planning to go to Hamburg as well. So, of course, you know, that's where the Beatles used to play before they were famous. So I'm going to show you the places where they used to play there. You should definitely subscribe to check out my videos in the future as well. It was actually right here um, in one of these windows where John Lennon and Yoko Ono got married on the 20th of March, 1969. Because I just met someone who works here and she told me it was right here where this tree is. So this place is now the Supreme Court of Gibraltar, but it used to be the British Embassy. It's a beautiful building with a beautiful garden as well. So yeah, I'm actually very happy that I found the place. You know, Gibraltar is only a small place. So this is in the main street. And John Lennon said that he liked getting married in Gibraltar because it's quiet, British and friendly. And I have to say he was right. It is all these things. So you might be wondering why did they get married here and that's a good question and we're going to answer that now. Paul and Linda McCartney got married on the 12th of March 1969. This may have inspired John Lennon to marry Yoko Ono a few days later. It was on Paul McCartney's wedding day, to which John Lennon didn't attend, when he headed to Dorset to introduce Yoko to his auntie Mimi. On the way to Dorset, they stopped in Southampton, one of the biggest ports in the UK, to see if they could get married on a boat crossing the English Channel. But as a Japanese citizen, Yoko needed a visa and she couldn't get it on that day, so instead they ended up flying to France with the intention to get married in Paris. But they later found out that in order to get married in France, as foreigners, they needed to be living there for at least two weeks. So they were advised to get married in Gibraltar because it was a British overseas territory and a wedding could be arranged very quickly. 
So they flew to Gibraltar on a private plane and they got married at the British consulate office. Right before leaving Gibraltar, they took a few pictures where you can see The Rock and John and Yoko holding their marriage certificate. John Lennon later said that he liked getting married in Gibraltar because it was quiet, friendly and British and that they loved getting married there in the symbolic sense that The Rock was the foundation of their relationship. Then they flew back to Paris and then they drove all the way to Amsterdam where they did their bed-in protest where they stayed for seven days in bed at the Hilton Hotel. Then they took a short trip to Vienna in Austria where they held a conference speaking from the inside of a large white bag, starting a movement they called Bagism. The idea was that if people can't see them, they couldn't judge them based on their color, age, religion or looks in general. Their marriage in Gibraltar, the bed-in protest in Amsterdam and the conference in Vienna, they are all explained in The Ballad of John and Yoko, a song recorded exclusively by John Lennon and Paul McCartney at Abbey Road Studios a few days later, in which John Lennon recorded vocals and guitar and Paul McCartney recorded piano, bass and drums. So we are now in Gibraltar's main street, there's lots of shops and many people come here to buy cheap alcohol because I think it's tax free, so I think I might as well do the same. There's like a wine place there, I'm gonna try and see if they have any Argentinian wine. Alright, I think it's time for me to head back to the ship, I work as a cruise ship musician. But yeah, beautiful place, Gibraltar, the weather is almost always a lot nicer than this. So if you have the chance, you should visit. It's only a small place, but the rock is pretty cool. You should visit that. And um, I went there last time I was here. I think the rock is 400 million years old. And there's also monkeys, which is pretty cool. And there's also a cave inside the rock. I went there last time, it's amazing. You should definitely visit if you have the chance. So this is pretty much it for now. Thank you so much for watching until the end. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also follow me on Instagram or Facebook. And the most important thing is, if you like this video, if you enjoy this content, please make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and you check out my other videos because you're definitely going to find them interesting. There's also a PayPal link for donations. Of course, every donation will be absolutely appreciated. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Well, I'm afraid that's just run out of time. Oh, I'm okay. really sorry. Oh, so, um, Bye, everyone. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Bye. If I give my heart to you, I must be sure from the best.